Hi guys, meet again on my channel. Now, we will create a wavy and tiered profile on the bucket product. Okay, let's go. On the front plane, choose sketch. Then create centerline sketch. Change the construction geometry became a line. Create centerline. Set first angle at 15 degrees. And second angle at 11 degrees. Set height at 16 millimeters. Width 12 millimeters. Inside diameter at 300 millimeters. On the feature toolbar, choose Revolve Boss. Click Axis of Revolution. Mid plane. Set angle at 36 degrees. OK. Create arc sketch on the top surface. Concentric. Exit sketch. Create sketch on the right plane. Create center line for center point R. Horizontal relation for two end point. Create three point R. Make arc became tangent. And coincident. Then tangent with top surface. Make equal for three arc sketch. Set height at 4 millimeters. Exit sketch. Then make projected curve for two sketches. OK. Choose lofted surface on the surface toolbar. Click two edges and projected curve as a guide curve. OK. Hide bodies and extend surface. Set it 3 millimeters. OK. Show bodies. Choose thick and cut. Click surface. OK. Hide curve. Create axis from two plane, front and right plane. OK. Click Axis, then choose Circular Pattern. Check Bodies. OK. Choose Combine, then select All Bodies. Click First Bodies, hold Shift in the keyboard, then click End Bodies. OK. Choose Full Round Fillet, then select each items to fillet. OK. Choose Shell. Set thickness at 1.2 mm. Click the bottom face. OK. Create sketch on the front plane. Show sketch 1. Then create lines.
Change horizontal line is a construction geometry. Make parallel. Set height at 250 millimeters. Sketch fillet radius at 17 millimeters. On the feature toolbar, choose Revolve Boss. Uncheck Merge Result. OK. Hide this part. Click Front Plane, then choose Plane. Set the distance at 160 millimeters. OK. Click Plane 1, then choose Sketch. Offset entities at 70 millimeters of the distance from top edge. OK. Then set the distance at 10 millimeters. Exit Sketch. Choose Project Curve. And type the sketch on faces. OK. On the sketch toolbar, choose 3D sketch. Convert entities, then select curve 2. OK. Change to construction geometry. Then choose tool, sketch tools, and segment. Click the arc. Set number of points at 20. Then create spline sketch. OK. Exit sketch. Click top plane, then choose sketch. Click 3D sketch 1, then select convert entities. On the feature toolbar, choose split line and face to split. OK. Hide sketch. Choose offset surface. Set the distance at 0 millimeters. Select three faces. OK. Choose cut thicken. Set it 1.5 millimeters on the thicken aid too. OK. Click plane one, then choose sketch. Show sketch six. Choose offset entities. Set the distance at seven millimeters. Exit sketch. Choose project curve, then select face to project it. OK. Repeat command. To create 3D sketch. Convert entities. Change to construction geometry. Then choose tool, sketch tools, and segment. Click the arc. Set number of points at 20. Then create spline sketch. OK. Exit sketch. Click top plane, then choose sketch. Click 3D sketch 2, then select convert entities. On the feature toolbar, choose split line and click face to split. OK. Hide sketch and curve 3. offset surface. Set the distance at 0 millimeters. Select three faces. OK. 
choose cut thicken. Set it 1.5 millimeters on the thicken side too. Okay. Click face on the bottom, then choose sketch. Offset entities at 7 millimeters. Choose extruded cut from feature toolbar. Set depth at 3 millimeters. Draft angle at 60 degrees. OK. Set fillet radius at 3 millimeters. Then select three edges. OK. Set fillet radius at 1 millimeter. Then select two edges. OK. Choose shell, then set the thickness at 1.2 millimeters. Click top surface, show preview. OK. The last command, choose combine. Then select two part to combine. OK.